In this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not Timothy Sykes is a scam. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader and somebody who is often labeled a scam. This video is about whether or not I am a scam. Um, first, let me state conclusively, I am not a scam. Um, I'm a teacher, I'm a trader. Why do people think that I'm a scam? Well, there are a lot of teachers out there who are just blatant scams. Um, I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna go into the negative stuff. All I can do is care about what I do, okay, and focus on what I I do. What I do is teach. I show my trades transparently. I show my income tax returns. I show my audits. I show my wins. I show my losses. I have nearly 6,000 video lessons. I have 8,000 blog posts. I have a dozen DVDs. I want to share with you every single thing that I've learned in 20, 20 years. My bad. I was, forget it. Whatever. I was 20 years of trading and now 10 years of teaching. You see, I'm not that even good with math and I have no like hand-eye coordination. I'm gonna be real with you. Um, a lot of people don't like that. They think that I should be more professional. Um, they have all kinds of assumptions on what I should or shouldn't do. For me, I want to teach everything that I've learned. I want to be the teacher to you that I never had. And that means a lot of different stuff. Um, as you'll learn, or as I've learned as a teacher, for me to get my points across to you, I have to do some crazy things. Um, a lot of people don't study. This is problem number one. How do you correct the lack of studying? You know, 80% of people who have a gym membership don't go to the gym. Gyms don't care, because whether people get fit or not, like they're just trying to make money. I actually care about your education. I want more successful students. It's in my own best interest. Part of the reason why I have so many successful students, five millionaires so far, with many more coming soon, because most people start with just two or three thousand dollars, it takes a while to grow to six or seven figures. That's another question that I get. Why so few millionaire students? It's tough to grow your fucking account 20, 30, 50, 100 times anytime soon. Remember. Wall Street tries to make 10 or 20% per year. But that's another video. For me, I need to get you guys studying. I am not a gym. I'm not comfortable with 80% of people not putting in the effort. And sadly, that's the reality. 80% of students don't bother watching my video lessons. So how do I get them to watch my video lessons? Well, I show off my amazing life. And this is where the whole scam part comes in because they think that like, you know, oh, you make all this money from teaching. Yeah, I make money from teaching. But I also made millions of dollars from trading. A lot of people forget that, okay? And I show every single trade. There's people out there, they don't show every trade, they show no trades. Some people show one screenshot or whatever. You see how much I made, you see how much I lost, you see how much I risked. You see my plans, you see my rewards, my profit goal, my risk management. So I show everything, but a lot of people don't look at that. I have nearly 1.5 million followers now on Instagram, so they see my cars, they see my travels, they think that I'm just selling the dream. I'm actually living the dream. I'm selling my education to you. The education that I give to you can help you live the dream just like me. I know this is complicated. People think like I'm some kind of genius or I have some kind of skills. I'm not. I'm just an average guy. I'm not even that good at math. You see, I can't even like hold up the proper, uh, you know, hand signals. I'm just going to be real with you. I'm from a small town in Connecticut. The stock market has changed my life. My parents gave me a few thousand dollars in bar mitzvah gift money to control. They thought I would lose it all. They thought it would be a good lesson for me. Instead, I turned that into millions of dollars through lots of practice, through lots of tinkering and trading different strategies and patterns, strategies, patterns, and rules that I've learned over time and now I pass them down to you. Yes, I lose. I've had big losses along the way. This is another reason why some people think I'm a scam because I had a hedge fund. I managed money once upon a time for others. Now I just trade for myself. I was the number one ranked short bias hedge fund for three years, but my fund wasn't really growing. I only had $3 million in assets. Assets. So I tried to invest in my best friend's dad's company, which basically invented print at home ticketing. I was right about the technology, wrong about the company. That company went bankrupt. My hedge fund lost roughly 35%. I lost all my credibility. Even though my hedge fund finished up 2% per year over four years on average, it didn't collapse. I didn't lose all my money like some of people assume and the press assumes. Guess what? I show everything. In my best-selling book in American Hedge Fund, I talk about my loss. 
I came back to teach. My first big article as a teacher was failed hedge fund manager tries again on the internet. I had zero credibility, but I got my credibility back by becoming the number one ranked trader out of 60,000 plus traders on Covester, a website that was just growing right when I first got started teaching in 2007, 2008, and they verified all my trades and I was the number one ranked trader. I went back to my $12,000 roots. I made roughly a quarter of a million dollars in three years and I was number one out of tens of thousands of traders. That gave me a little credibility. Still not a lot of credibility. Okay, I can trade, maybe it's something I have. Can I actually pass these lessons down to you? The answer became apparent within a few years of teaching as I had two millionaire students within a few weeks of each other. My first millionaire student, Michael Good, wrote a blog post about me. Timothy Sykes is full of BS. We went back and forth in the comments. He gave my DVDs a shot. Now he has made over $2 million. He's moderator of my chat room. I love the guy to death. My first online hater became my first millionaire. My second millionaire student, Tim Grindot, excuse me, Tim Grittani, started with just 1,500 of his own money. Now he's over seven million in seven years. He actually lost his first $1,500 before he found me. He didn't know the rules, he blew up. That's when he decided to learn the rules and I taught him everything I knew. And I don't know everything, I'm not all knowing. I still lose roughly a third of my trades, but I lose small. I don't let small mistakes turn into potential big disasters anymore. I learned from my big disaster, you know, a little over a decade ago. So yes, I've lost big. Yes, my hedge fund got terrible press and people think that I lost everything. Even though I didn't, I show my audits and income tax returns. It's just rumors. And then because I've grown so much on social media and I show off my cars and the lifestyle that you too can have have, if you study hard enough, people think I'm just bragging and they think that I'm like this typical internet guy who just scams his way to making a lot of money. A lot of people on the internet do that. I'm not like a lot of people on the internet. My single best selling DVD, How to Make Millions, all goes to charity. We've now raised over $3 million to charity. We've built 45 schools so far. My goal is to build 1,000 schools. I have more DVDs that go to charity. Karma Gala is the name of my charity. It used to be the Timothy Sykes Foundation. We changed the name because now it's a community. I don't just build schools for my ego. I actually want to change the world. So this is who I am. Take it or leave it. If you doubt me, if you think that I'm full of BS, don't learn. That's the beauty of being real. I'm not looking for more students. People say, Tim, be nicer, you'll have more students. I say, I, I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm already overwhelmed. I'm not looking for more students, I'm looking for more dedicated students. And frankly, me posting about my life gets a lot of prospective students knocking on my door. My latest millionaire student, well, actually I have two new millionaire students, but my latest millionaire student, Stephen Ducks, who just crossed 2.7 million in profits, found me on Instagram because he liked my Lamborghini, okay? If I never got in the Lamborghini, if I never posted pictures of the Lamborghini, he would never have found me. Mark Crook found me because he was tired of working in a cubicle. He moved to Miami, just met the love of his life, had a beautiful baby, I went to his wedding. He's now over a million dollars. He watched all of my video lessons three times. So, long story short, I have video lessons, I have DVDs, I have watch lists, I have commentary, I have 8,000 blog posts, I've got software called Stocks to Trade, I have a whole chat room full of roughly 1,000 traders every day. I trade with a small account in order to teach. Any money that I make from trading gets donated to charity too. I make roughly $100,000, $200,000 a year like I have pretty much every year for the past two decades. Nothing huge. One of my haters actually brought this up like Tim Sykes has never made a million dollars in a year. True. Some people say, oh, Tim Sykes made all of his money back in the tech bubble of 99 and 2000. He hasn't made shit since. Well, then why did I make over $800,000 in 2014? That was actually my best trading year ever. I went big. Now I trade with a small account. Why? Can I not make a lot of money anymore? No, because most of my students have small accounts. And again, my whole life, my whole trading, my whole everything is geared towards being the best teacher possible. So if you have a small account, it does me no good to trade with a million dollars. You might get inspired. You know, there are people who use their subscribers in their chat rooms and they try to make as much money as they can. And then they're like, look how I made 50,000 in a day. It makes no difference. I've learned this, trading with a big account and small account. Remember, I've been teaching for 10 years now, so I've learned. It makes no difference whether I make $50,000 on a trade or $5,000 on the same trade with a smaller position. 
It gets donated to charity. And frankly, I found better success for students because you get to see my position size and my mentality and my risk management with a small account. This is what I do. So, if you think I'm a scam, bring it on. I encourage the hate. I don't hide from it. I don't shy away from it. The negativity actually spreads faster on social media, and then I get more potential students. And then I have to weed through the potential students, and my team and I interview them. You can't just become a challenge student. You actually have to go through an interview process because we weed out people who just want hot stock picks. We weed out people who think that it's going to be easy to get rich very quickly. Tim Gratani, yes, my top student has made $7 million plus in seven years, but he made nothing for nine months. He was not even consistently profitable. So what I teach takes time. It's very front end loaded with studying. A lot of people say, oh Tim, like I want all this money up quick, up front. I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. I don't make the rules. I wish that I could teach something that worked very quickly, but you have to experience all of these plays. There's not always a great play with penny stocks. That's another thing. Just because I'm involved with penny stocks, I'm immediately a scam. Wall Street has no respect for penny stocks. I didn't choose penny stocks. Penny stocks chose me. I've always done well at them. Other niches, I think, frankly, are harder. Because penny stocks have the most fucking morons, I'm competing against fucking morons. It's like competing against mini-me in basketball. Do you want to go up against mini-me in basketball, or do you want to compete against Michael Jordan? Who do you think is easier to compete against? If you're trading Forex, big market, very liquid, but you're competing against all the richest, smartest people in the world, what chance do you have? None, or very little. The odds say Forex is very dangerous, especially with leverage, don't even get me started with that. Rule number one for me, for penny stocks, is cut losses quickly. Take small losses. Scratches don't matter. I trade penny stocks like a coward. I teach people to trade cowardly. Cowardice is not respected in trading or pretty much anywhere in life, and yet it's necessary in trading. Never forget, 90% of traders lose. So a lot of people hate trading, they hate penny stocks, they hate my lifestyle, pictures and videos, they, they're envious of the actual lifestyle. They don't like that I post all this stuff. Why? Bring on some positivity. I made this video just to weed out all the things that people brought up against me, and yet I still teach. And yet my millionaire students now help me teach and help me mentor other people, and they show all of their trades too. Transparency, being real, that's the future of the internet. I'm gonna have more successful students. I don't know who, I don't know when, I can't predict what the next hot stock or even what the next hot sector is. We wait for the patterns to come to us. And when there's no plays, I'm busy teaching the patterns. You finding me right now, you're playing catch up because you don't know the patterns, you don't know the stocks, you don't know the rules. So there might be a perfect play tomorrow and you're unprepared. My job is to try to prepare you. Okay? I'm basically a drill sergeant and I'm preparing you for battle. Like I said, 90% of traders lose. So this is a very difficult industry. I don't want you to think otherwise. You know, I know these commercials make it seem all easy. E-Trade has a little dancing baby. Look how easy it is. If that baby actually traded stocks, it would be a bloody baby. It would be a mess. It wouldn't be even able to be shown on TV. You would need like, you know, you need to blur it out because you'd just be like, oh, it's a bloody baby that got caught in the battlefield that is the stock market. That's reality. I'm preparing you for this battlefield with the weapons, with the tools that I've learned. Otherwise, you go into trading on your own, by all means, do it. Ignore me, ignore my rules. I have a lot of doubters who say that like, oh, I don't need your rules, I'll do this on my own. And then they come back three months, six months, nine months later, Tim, you were right. I lost 20,000, I lost 50,000, I lost 100,000. I'm not here to say I told you so. I don't enjoy anybody losing money. I just want to change the game. I want people to learn that penny stocks can be predictable if you follow certain rules. Trading can be profitable if you follow certain rules and have the proper expectations. Not to get rich quick, but to learn, to study, to be patient, and in time you might have success. But again, I can't convince everybody, so if you still think I'm a scam after this and my literally a thousand plus free video lessons on YouTube, my free trader checklist guide, which is over 11 hours. I now give my best-selling book in American Hedge Fund out for free. I have so much free content. 
You just have to study. And frankly, if that's a problem, you and I, we're not going to get along anyways because lazy people and I don't get along. A lot of lazy people think that I'm a scam because I tell them they have to study. They have to put in hours and hours studying the past, studying charts, studying trends, and then watching the current stock market and learning from what's hot in the present moment so that they can be better prepared in the future. All of this is too much for lazy people. They just want hot stock picks. It's not about picks. I actually write out all of my alerts in like two or three paragraphs when I send them. Alerts are very useful in teaching, but I don't want anybody to copy me. A lot of chat rooms, they just say, buy this stock, here's the ticker. And then they sell it within seconds. I usually have to write out my whole plan because I want you to see what I'm thinking about in real time. You always see what is my risk, where am I cutting losses, what is my goal, why am I even entering this stock, why am I buying 500 shares, why am I buying 2,000 shares. Like I said, I trade with a small account. I've lost all kinds of you know, adrenaline rushes that I used to get from trading because now I trade with such a small account, I put myself in your shoes. So people laugh, they're like, Tim, you're a multimillionaire and you're making like $600 on the day. Yes, because I'm teaching you the process of how to make $600 too. If I can do it, you can do it. But you need preparation, you need studying, you need mentorship, and that's what my team and I are here for. So, am I a scam? The answer is no. I'm pretty much the hardest working teacher that you'll ever meet. And I love my job, I love my team. I've got now over 40 employees. My mom and dad are part of this, so we're a little family business too. So if you wanna learn, by all means do it. If anything I say offends you, if you have any doubts whatsoever, simply don't learn. That's the beauty of being real. I don't need any more students. I'm looking for dedicated students. Leave a comment just below this video. Let me know if you want to learn and I will teach you. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.